Now, Ron, it says in here about the Ephesus church and all of these churches, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to him who overcomes. And then there's rewards that are given. What is an overcomer? Is this a special class of Christians or is this everybody? I think a lot of people wonder whether it is a special class of Christians and they often wonder if they're on the brink of losing their salvation because they're wondering if they're good enough to be an overcomer. But if you're gonna come across a word like overcomer in the Bible, doesn't it make sense to let the Bible define for us what is meant by that word? If we go to 1 John 5, verses four and five, we read, for everyone who is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So what that means is that all of us are overcomers. And when you think about it, John, when you look at all the different rewards that are given to people in the seven churches, those things can be said to be true of all Christians. For example, there's the statement that, uh, you know, one church is not going to experience the second death. Well, no Christian will experience the second death, which is an eternal death. And so, like I said, an overcomer is one who has been born of God. When I saw this video this morning, it said, who is the overcomer? I immediately thought of my mom's story. And I went to the little video clip from the Johnny Gerbrud show and immediately saw that he said exactly what my mom had said. But my mom had found this in a very unique way. If you haven't seen that video before, my mom actually read that about the overcomer and she cried out to the Lord and she didn't know much about the Bible when this happened or she didn't, she wasn't really fluent in the scriptures. So she cried out to the Lord and said, what is an overcomer? Thinking that she could lose her salvation. She was scared. And there's a lot of works teaching out there and she got scared thinking like who's who's the truth right what's the truth how do i find the truth who's preaching the truth right so anyways who god put it on her heart immediately first john 5 now i don't remember if it was 4 or 5 but either way he led her right to the verse so you go to that verse, you look at the screen, for whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. God put it on her heart. She didn't know that this word was there. She didn't Google it, nothing like that. God put this on her heart. The, the same word, overcometh, omer, overcometh. For whosoever is born of God omer, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. So simple. The Lord put that on her heart. And it was complete confirmation. And it was complete um, comfort at that moment when she was cr crying out to the Lord. God answers prayers. He's amazing. And, and when I saw this today, I just knew that I had to say something because it was complete confirmation for my mom. And I feel like there are other people out there who really need this confirmation. And this is a true story. This happened to my mom. And it is a very, very powerful story that needs to be shared. Okay, God bless you all. Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. Praise the Lord. He that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Are you born again? Hallelujah. God bless you all. Maranatha.